What am I supposed to be filming? I literally turned this on and now I don't remember what I'm supposed to be talking about. Okay, I remembered. I'm here to talk about the series that I have given up on. I did recently or a couple months ago post a video about the series that I am in the middle of. So I'm first going to share a couple from that list that I have decided not to actually continue in. And then I'm just going to mention a few other ones that I think are notable or that I've given up on recently. Or just, yeah, stuff that I think would be notable that I don't plan on continuing with. So the first one from the list that I shared a couple months ago that I don't think I'm going to actually continue is the Raven Cycle series and I have gone back and forth about this. I have asked many people if they think I should continue or not and I honestly got a lot of yeses but I feel like every time I asked someone it was me second guessing if I wanted to or not and I think I've just kind of decided no. I did only read the first one and yeah I just don't find myself reaching for it or feel excited about continuing. Then I have The Remnant Chronicles, the first of which being The Kiss of Deception. I left that one on the list then as like a maybe. I didn't super enjoy the first one, but I think definitely now there's other things I'm more interested in and I'm not going to be going back to that series. I would have to reread the first one in the first place, so realistically I'm not going to be going back. And the last one from that list that I've decided not to continue is the selection series by Kira Cass. I've read every single one except for the final one, which I think is called The Crown. I read the original trilogy and then I read the first book that is like the, I don't want to spoil. I feel like a lot of people say what the second like series is about, but I read the first one of that. And a lot of people have told me it's not worth it. I think I'm just removed enough now that I'm not interested in it anymore. Even though I did give, which a lot of people didn't, give the air five stars. Uh, I think that they're just, they're not that good, but they're like a fun time. But like I said, I've kind of moved, moved past the series. Then I have some recent things I've kind of started and didn't enjoy and probably won't continue. First of which being I read Tangled Vows by Anna Stone. Um, not realizing that this was a BDSM romance. It is female female, but I gave it two stars. I didn't really enjoy it and I probably won't continue. I also read Royally Screwed by Emma Chase and gave that one star. I really didn't like the hero in that. I thought he was super arrogant and that is not my kind of hero. And I didn't overall like her writing style, so I won't be continuing in that series either. I think that series is just called Royally and they're all like royalty based and it's not really something I'm interested in. I reread The Fifth Wave and I did enjoy that again, but I've never had an interest in finishing the rest of that series and again, I read the first one and don't plan on continuing with the second. I read the first and the second book in the Gear Shark series by Cambria Hebert and I enjoyed the first one okay, but the second one I thought was pretty bad, so I probably won't continue that. The first one was called Junkie or Hashtag Junkie and the second one is Hashtag Rev and they are, um, the first one was male male and I think the second one was male female and they are based around like racing and like a racing magazine and... Yeah, the second one just really dropped off for me, so I lost interest. And now I'm just going to list some that I think are notable, but have been, I've been kind of removed from them. I read the last installment whenever I did quite a while ago, but I think they're noteworthy to speak out loud that I don't have plans on continuing or that I did start this, this series and decide not to continue. The first of which being the Wait For You series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read up to book five and I think the first few were like hit or miss but the last couple installments I read were like two even maybe one star reads so I decided to pause on that or stop that I guess. This one I think is notable because I read it in school and I think a lot of other people read it in school and that is The Night Trilogy by Ellie Wiesel which is a World War II like novel but it's based off of his experience and the first one I absolutely loved it's a five star book and I did try to continue and read the next ones and I didn't like the second one at all so I think that is something that just stands good in its own the first one can be its own thing and I don't necessarily have to continue 
I stopped reading The Walking Dead graphic novels. I also didn't enjoy the second book in the You series by Caroline Kepnes, the first one being You, the second one being Hidden Bodies. And I think there's another one coming out or is out and I'm not interested in that. I stopped with the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I read the first and second. I didn't like the second at all. I'm not going to continue the Carry On series by Rainbow Rowell and I'm also not going to continue Percy Jackson. The Percy Jackson series, I read the first one and I didn't like it. I just don't think it's for me. There's no nostalgia with the series for me and it's just not something I'm interested in. I did stop reading the Vampire Academy series. I think I read up to book four and I also will not be continuing Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi as well as I Do Not Like Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I will not be continuing with that series under any circumstances. And yeah, I think I'm far enough back in terms of when I read these things and thinking that I should mention them. But I hope you found this interesting. If anything, maybe you also didn't really love some of these series and I'm sorry if I mentioned some of your favorite things, but these are really just things I've lost interest in or that as the series went on really went downhill fast. So this was a nice short video to share today. Um, I'd love to just see you in the comments below. If anything, just leave me an emoji, tell me hi. But it was good talking with you today and, and thank you for spending some time with me. I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.